Six people have survived a plane crash off Norfolk Island after the pilot was forced to ditch into the ocean. I'm supposed to land in the tarmac, but land on the sea, which is, is not normal. The Westwind jet was transporting a medical patient from Samoa to Melbourne. It was meant to refuel on Norfolk Island, but couldn't land because of bad weather. The atrocious conditions forced pilot Dominic James to ditch the plane into the, the water. The slightest imperfection in the flying skills of the pilot could cause that aircraft to tumble head over, head over tail and cause the aircraft to break up. All six people on board escaped before the aircraft sank. They were picked up by a fishing boat and taken back to Norfolk Island. OK, Glenn, is everybody all right? Everybody's fantastic, mate. Uh, it's an uh, absolutely terrific result over here, a controlled water ditching, um, and everybody on board, the six people on board, walked away from it. I suppose they swam away from it. So it was, a, they, were they, it was a controlled ditch into the sea. How far off Norfolk Island? They were two kilometres off the southwest coast. And how long did it take you to get out to them? They were in the water for approximately an hour and a half. Things happened pretty quickly when they made the decision to go in. So we're not sure exactly what time they went into the water, but um, we're saying about an hour and a half that they were in the water. And there were six people on board? Six people on board. You've, you've done a great job, you and the rest of them, but it must have been... Uh, they're pretty lucky people to get down like that and then be rescued quickly. Look, they're extremely lucky, and uh, believe me, they all know it. But we uh, monitor the issue, pray, ask God for favour and mercy. Our law is God of mercy and favour. Glory be to God Almighty. Care Flight's official website stated in a report by Ian Badham at 12 a.m., on Friday the 19th of November. After several unsuccessful approaches and with diminishing fuel, the pilot in command, Captain Dominic James, made the decision to carry out a controlled landing onto the water off the coast of Norfolk Island. John Sharp, chairman of Pelair Aviation, said that he was very proud of the captain and the first officer. They performed an intricate landing on water in darkness, resulting in evacuation of everyone safely and quickly. The training of both the Pelair and Careflight crew came to the fore as everyone kept together and remained calm. Their professionalism stood out on the day and made a substantial difference to the outcome. That is not the normal place. It's like he a, a lost control. It's like uh, something happened in the air. It's like uh, he was looking for immediate landing. It's like uh, he cannot control this value again. So let us pray for protection. The pilot in command, Captain Dominic James, decided to make a controlled landing onto the sea off the coast of Norfolk Island, and the jet landed safely on the sea. I saw Baloo, and this Baloo wanted to land, instead of land on the tarmac, he landed on the sea. Take note of how the prophet revealed the landing on the sea. I saw Baloo, and this Baloo wanted to land, instead of land on the tarmac, he landed on the sea. The plane landed two nautical miles from the island, completely surrounded by water, only three of the passengers had life jackets and the others were forced to cling to them as the plane sank and they were left treading water for one and a half hours, awaiting rescue. It's like for the past two weeks, it's like the hut is becoming closer. I've been praying God, protection, protection, it's becoming closer. And uh, seeing it on the sea, I never see it inside the sea, but landing on the sea, which is the wrong place. Protection. We are going to pray for and have one or two days fast for protection. Pelair Aviation Chairman John Sharp said he was very proud of the captain and first officer. They executed what would have to be described as a perfect landing on water. They landed at night, approximately we think about 9.30 p.m. local time. And as a result of the skill of the pilots, the aircraft landed in the water 
and none of the passengers were injured. It's like uh, the grace just carried the balloon and he landed. Notice how Prophet T.B. Joshua demonstrates the plane landing by the grace of God. It's like uh, the grace just carried the balloon and he landed. Recall the description the prophet gave of the airplane involved. Out of the color in the balloon, the Lord showed me colors. But I will not mention any color here for now. Because through this color, we can now trace where is this balloon, the country, the place. But I see color of the balloon. As you can see, the colors of the CareFlight logo are blue and yellow. These were the colors revealed by God to Prophet TB Joshua, and through which the country of Australia can be traced, just as the Prophet said. CareFlight is an Australian-based emergency rapid response aero medical retrieval service. Its mission is to save lives, speed recovery, and to serve the community. This particular trip was carrying a patient who needed medical monitoring during flight. We thank God for this prophetic revelation and the call to prayer for protection, which was made during the live Sunday service in the Synagogue Church of All Nations, broadcast worldwide on Emmanuel TV and recorded and carried by many national and international news media. In answer to these prayers, reports state that the woman's condition did not appear to have worsened as a result of her time in the water. All other passengers on board were saved as well. If the world know that this man is say something, the whole world join him in prayer, we avert everything. We are going to avert it. As Prophet T.B. Joshua said during the prophetic message, there must be a prophet who can tell us what is yet to happen. There must be. When there is no prophet to tell us the thing to, to come, definitely we are living in the dark. There must be a prophet who can tell us what is yet to happen. When there's no prophecy to tell us the things to come, definitely we are in the dark. One such media venue which helped to spread this prophetic vision and call for prayer was Nigeria's Daily Champion, which carried the story on Wednesday the 11th of November 2009, titled TB Joshua Predicts Plane Crash. Daily Champion, Wednesday, November 11th, 2009, Volume 22, Number 224, Page 3. TB Joshua Predicts Plane Crash. Joshua, during the service, predicted an impending plane crash, but told his congregation that God has restrained him from disclosing the colour and location of the aircraft. The Lord showed me the colour of the balloon. I have been praying. We should fast. When there is no prophet, who can tell us about these things? We will be living in the dark. We keep praying and fasting to forestall many things. But when we realise that there is nothing we can do, I have decided to ask you to join me in prayer so that the accident will not occur. The balloon wanted to land on tarmac, but it landed into the sea, he said. He advised the congregation to pray for the safety of air travellers, urging them to use Psalms 91 and 51.